वेलकम ऑनलाइन वायरलेस मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन मॉड्यूल इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी हैव सीन द टॉपिक ऑफ टू रे मॉडल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द फ्रीज इक्वेशन दैट द फ्रीज इक्वेशन इन फ्री स्पेस इक्वेशन This equation is given by P of R received power is equal to transmitted power gain of transmitter gain of receiver lambda square upon four pi square d square l where this uh, P of t is the transmitted power and this P R at distance d is the received power, which is a function of transmitter and receiver. Which is the function of the transmitter and receiver. That is the distance d, as shown in this diagram. Uh, g of t, g of t. is the transmitter gain antenna transmitter antenna gain and g of r is equal to the receiver antenna gain and t and r separation distance which is the separation distance in meter which is l l is which is denoted by small d or capital d and l is l is the system loss factor and one thing is there it is not related to propagation that means l is always greater than 1 and we know that lambda is lambda is the wave wavelength which is in meter the gain of antenna is related to its effective aperture so it is given by effective aperture of the antenna gain of antenna which is given by this equation we have seen this equation in previous lecture that is 4 pi a of e divided by lambda square so this is the equation of gain of an antenna is related to the effective aperture and one more thing is the effective aperture a a of e is a physical size of the antenna and which is the effective effective aperture aperture a e is related to the physical size of the antenna and lambda we know that it is the carrier frequency or which is given by lambda by equal to c by f again it is written as 2 pi c by omega c 
if we can say this one is the equation number one this is the equation number two this one the equation number three in another word if f is the carrier frequency in hertz f is the carrier frequency which is in hertz then omega c is the carrier frequency in radian per second this is the important thing f is the carrier frequency it having the when you have uh, given in hertz then we take the values of f when it is given in the radian per second it is taken as a radian per second then omega c is taken so omega c is the carrier carrier frequency or uh, it is having the unit radians per second and of course c is the uh, of course c is of course of course of course c is cos the uh, c is the speed of the light c is the speed of the speed of the light which is given by meters per second which is given by the meters per second c is the speed of the light uh, it is calculated in in its units that is the meter per second the value for the pt yani ki transmitted power and received power must be expressed in the same unit and gain of transmitter or gain of receiver are dimensionless quantities it the meaning uh, the miscellaneous uh, losses l that is l is always greater than 1 then uh, are usually due to transmission line attenuations filter and antenna losses in the communication system the one thing is note here if the a value of l is equal to 1 indicates no loss in the system hardware it is indicates no loss in the system hardware then then the freeze free equation which is the shown in uh, this format p of t at d is equal to power of transmitted gain of the transmitter and receiver lambda square divided by 4 pi square d square by l It shows that the received power falls off as the square of the TR separation distance. This implies that the received power decays with the distance at a rate of twenty dV uh, per decade. And isotropic radiator is the ideal antenna. And when it is take the ideal antenna, then it is ideal antenna then the uh, the radiated uh, power with the unit gain uniformly in all direction and it is often used to reference antenna gain in the in the uh, wireless system then the ref uh, effective radiated power gain is expressed to its isotropic Uh, radiator is given by 
that is the e i r p is equal to p of t g of t that is given by equation number 4 and here the uh, here uh, it is rep it represents the maximum radiated power available from the transmitter in the direction of maximum antenna gain as compared to isotropic radiator in other words if we consider the uh, practical scenario the effective radiated power yani ki erp um, is used insist of is used insist of eirp to denote the maximum radiated power power as compare to a half wave dipole antenna insist of an isotropic antenna since the dipole antenna has a, a gain of uh, 1.64 uh, uh, the gain is in the 1.64 dv so it is the above of the 2.15 dv above the isotrope the erp will be then ERP will be 2.15 dV it is the smaller than it is the smaller than EIRP for the same transmission system the in practice the antenna gains are given in the units of antenna gain gains are calculated in the the dvi or you can dv gain with respect to an isotropic source so db d db d d it is the uh, uh, calculated with the respect to the half wave di and this dvi which is written here db gain is it is the it's with the respect with the respect to an isotropic source isotropic source so the path loss which represent the signal attenuation as a positive quantity measured in the db measured in db is defined as the this path loss is defined as the difference in db between the effective transmitted power and the received and the received power it and this may or may not be include the effect of the gain antenna the path loss for the free space model when the antenna gains are included is it is given by we have the path loss for the free space 
model when antenna gains are in included and is given by it is denoted by pldb path loss that is equal to tan log transmitted power to received power is equal to minus tan log gtgr lambda square upon 4 pi ka whole square d square this is equation number 5 so when the antenna gains are excluded the antennas are assumed to have unity gain and the path loss is then given by when we assume antenna gain is unity or excluded the antenna or assume to have unity gain and path loss is given by g of t is equal to gr for that is the end and it is given by we have change in the equation number five then that log p of t p of r is minus 10 log g of t in place of g of t grr putting here one then this simplified by lambda square four pi ka whole square d square this is equation number six this equation is the freeze p path equation that is equation number six is known as freeze path loss equation and we got the one relationship that is the path loss which is in dv is the inversely proportional to the distance square it implies that the path loss is inversely proportional to the transmitter receiver separation square that means that means that means in a mobile radio channel a simple uh, a single direct path between the base station and the mobile is seldom or only the physical means for the propagation and hence the free space propagation model is given by the equation number five by this so uh, it is the most cases it is inaccurate when used alone and the two uh, in in that case that the two uh, ray ground reflection model uh, are used by because because the, there is a certain drawback in this free space equation the drawbacks of free free space equation first drawback in this free uh, space equation uh, we cannot uh, predict the uh, the valid predator that means the free space model the free free space model is a valid predator for d is not equal to 0 and second drawback this model assumes only a 
लाइन ऑफ साइड सिग्नल दिस मॉडल इज ओनली एज्यूम ए लाइन ऑफ साइड मॉडल दैट मीन्स वेयर शुड बी प्लेस द एंटीना एंड एट वॉट डिस्टेंट इट्स कैन नॉट बी गिव द आंसर सो द आंसर इज एराइज वेयर शुड बी प्लेस द एंटीना सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस फ्री स्पेस फ्री पाथलास मॉडल डिडेंट गिव द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ऑफ द there is a one more propagation that is called the reflection uh, propagation and due to that reflected waves we also receiving the reflected signals so the this model is uh, actually not reasonable so we have seen here why this is the, the answer is if we know that fields of antenna and look at the uh, field of antenna that is sh shown in the figure shown in the figure in this figure in this figure in this figure there is a this is the uh, our uh, antenna this is antenna source and it is connected by the largest physical dimension that dimension is known as capital l as shown in this figure this is dimension and it is connected here and this is the line of center of the line of this antenna it is divided by like this line and divided into the two reason and one reason is uh, uh, is covered this portion and another reason is covered in this portion the uh, field is uh, just near to the uh, the this uh, antenna is known as near field that is written here it is the near field that full reason is are in the near field after that this line the field is known as the far field this one is the far field so the uh, the uh, with the help of this field of antenna there are the two types of uh, 